For most of us, Colorado's Rocky Mountains are a picture postcard. The Continental Divide, 54 peaks higher than 14,000 feet, the headwaters of more than 100 rivers. But for one group of men and women in America, what locals here call the high country is more than just a pretty picture. It is a peril that can make the difference between life and death. Those Americans are pilots. Lord Cyclic, sir, we're going against an upslope, which means- Helicopter pilots with army units from all over the country about to deploy to help fight America's war in Afghanistan. They come to Colorado to fly in nearly a million acres of airspace dedicated to the military's only high altitude helicopter training course in the country. Because even though they've already had hundreds, sometimes thousands of hours behind the stick, they've never had to fly and land in the dangerous conditions unique to high altitude aviation and unique to the jagged peaks and rugged canyons of Afghanistan. This is the best simulation they'll get here for the missions they'll fly over there. You just cannot simulate nor talk your way through all these conditions that we fly through. Here at the Colorado National Guard's High Altitude Army Aviation Training Site, about 50 miles west of the Vail Ski Resort, Chief Warrant Officer Anders Nielsen teaches the military pilots who come here from lower states how forcefully the mountains and the altitude will affect their helicopters. Uh, you know, altitude is, is something that um, kind of compounds the uh, power issues. But we like to say high, hot, or heavy, or any combination of those three uh, environmental conditions. You know, the, the air gets thinner, less lift in the blades, and it starts to decrease our capabilities. You start loading the aircraft up, or it starts getting hot, and then also combine that with altitude, the, the power we have to get ourselves in and out of certain conditions is no longer there. And that's the point 10, 12, 14,000 feet above sea level, where a miscalculation can be fatal. Just think about how you want to do everything nice and slow, always keeping a visual. If you've got it, watch it. If you don't, call your TV provider to get HDNet today.